PSA. This is for educational purposes only, so do not hold anything I say against me, but let's get into it, y'all. Okay, let's address CPNs and addresses and why it is so important when creating your CPN file. So a lot of times people will choose to go the CPN route if they are in the middle of cleaning their personal credit, if they are filing bankruptcy, if they're being faced with eviction, and also when they're unable to use their personal credit. For instance, if a person is in the middle of purchasing a home and they can't have any activity on their personal credit, they will choose to go the CPN route. And while it can be very beneficial, you also want to make sure that you create your file in the correct way to avoid buying a CPN that you cannot use. That's a waste of money. So the number one thing starts with your address. The address that you are choosing for your CPN file cannot be linked to your old credit file in any type of way. So that means no family, no where you've ever received a mail at, no one that you have ever used as a rep, no immediate family. Now, if you are purchasing your CPN package or creating your CPN with the intentions on obtaining a rental property such as an apartment or a house, then my suggestion would be to use an address of Zillow. So you go find an, an address that was just, I'm sorry, a house that was just recently put up for sale and you use that address while creating your CPN. That way, when you get your rental property, your address will now turn into that one so you don't have to worry about any issues of not receiving your mail or not being able to get to your mail because you're using it for your rental property and once you move in, all of your mail will now go there. So another helpful thing to think about when you are creating a CPN, especially if you have a unique name, you want to look for an address that is outside of your city. Yes, several people have the same name, same date of birth, but it's not as often that they have this in the same city. And while that's not a requirement to create your CPN file, I'm just sharing some helpful tips with you guys to make sure that it is successful and to avoid it merging with your old credit file. Now, if you guys want more information, feel free to inbox me at any time. Also, don't forget to click that link in my bio for more questions or other services that I offer. But y'all have a good night.